We love having you here. So why did you start Her Campus? I was a student at Harvard and I saw that there were all of these media sites and magazines for college or for high school girls rather, yeah. Seventeen, Teen Vogue, and then all these women's magazines, Glamour, Cosmo, etc. And nothing for the college girl in between. So we wanted to create that. Yeah, and kind of fill in the blanks. So exactly. a big part of this book, even the highlighted line, is about staying safe at college yeah. because that is sort of what goes on. You got to stay safe. So what do you guys talk about with that? So with staying safe, the important thing to think about is that college is not supposed to be scary. College is supposed to be the best time of your life. But as a young woman, it's the first time for many young women that they've been by themselves. So there are a lot of things that you can do to make sure that you have the best college experience, which is making sure that you're safe while you're there. Okay, and one of those you start out with is dorm room safety. Yes, so in your dorm room, you probably lived with your parents before you moved to college. Right. So you might not think about protecting your possessions. The number one thing you can do with your dorm room is to lock it every time you're not there. Which no one does. They no need to do does. it. <laughs> Everyone should do that, absolutely. That's right, they get too free with it. Okay, and then you say there, it's important to notice drinking safety. Yes, yeah, so if you're gonna go to a party and you're going to have a drink, it's very important to know where your drink comes from. So the best thing you can do is get your drink yourself. The safest thing is an unopened beer that you open yourself, or you can tap a keg yourself or pour yourself a mixed drink. You don't ever wanna mix with jungle juices or anything in a big cooler. Story of they my life. They are everywhere in college. <laughs> You don't know what's in them, you don't know how strong they are, and it's really hard to keep track of how much you've had. Right. Another major no-no for going to parties is having someone say, oh, I've got something special upstairs, let me go grab that for you. Mm -mm. Uh -uh. Bad news, bad news. Definitely if you, bad if news. If you don't see your drink getting made, don't drink it. Yes, and just so you know, I wasn't saying bad news because I know from experience, I'm just saying it sounds <laughs> like bad news. Okay, and then we've got hooking up safety. Yes, yeah, so if you're going to hook up, say you're going to go home with a guy after that party where you opened your own beers, make sure to introduce him to your friends, so your friends know who you're leaving with, where you're going. Make sure that your phone is fully charged. If you ever get a bad feeling from him, say you don't feel good. Say you just realize you have a test. Make up an excuse and go home. It's never worth it. Also, if you're like, oh, he's really cute, but I'm not quite sure, say let's meet for coffee tomorrow. If he's really interested in you, he'll definitely be happy to meet with you the next day. Oh, good advice. Okay, and then finally we've got exploring campus safety. Yeah, so once again, if you're on campus, whether you're at a party or you're late at the library studying, and you leave, walking home by yourself can be dangerous. It's dark, maybe you're unfamiliar on campus, especially if you're a freshman. There are several things. One, you can have a buddy. Uh, we recommend walking home with a friend. Right. Uh, two, there are campus escort services at a lot of colleges that you can use for free where they'll bring other student volunteers who will walk you home right or there's a blue light system so you'll see these blue lights all over oh, campus yeah I had the those blue online lights. exactly yes. did you ever press them? yes I well I mean sometimes if it was late at night and I didn't want to go home by myself yes I exactly. had pushed them and have you push them and campus police will come pick you up and take you home they're not upset that's what they're there for <laughs> yeah. to keep you safe if you don't have any of those options available call your mom call a friend don't be too distracted while you're talking on the phone, but that way someone knows where you're going. And if the line cuts off, they can help you get help. Good advice. Well, the book, again, The Her Campus Guide to College, and it's in stores now and online at hercampus.com. Thanks so much. Thanks for having me. All right, we'll be right back after the break. Stay with My Carolina Today.